Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode with Alpha 1S. Today I'm going to show you a little something different in the app that I didn't show you last time. Pretty much uh, what I'm going to do is show you the way to customize and create your own actions using the app right here. Now, pretty much it's not that complicated. All you have to do is literally once you log in, you just go and click on your uh, robot button right down there and hit create action. And now pretty much what it does here is it lets you uh, create each step and from there it plays it at once. So let's take a look at this. Now I have them ready to go and at this state here uh, what I will be doing is clicking on the button that says add action. As soon as I hit add action the robot will go loose meaning I can move his limbs any way that I want. Now. Pretty much what you do is you make one pose and then you continue to make other poses. So let me demonstrate so you get a better understanding what I'm saying. So let's just make him start off like this. Okay. So that's my first pose. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add pose and now it will say a thousand milliseconds. So he will perform that. Uh, that move in a thousand milliseconds. Now I can go ahead and click on that itself and I can go ahead and adjust the time on the bottom here and make it quicker. So I can make it slower or faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it 800 milliseconds. You can copy it, you can hit uh, play just to demonstrate it, but we're going to go ahead and hit back and now I'm going to go ahead and hit add another one. So now it's adding another step. Now what I do is I'll make another pose. So in this case here, I'll do one of uh, something like that maybe. Sure, why not? So from there here, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, add again. So now it's going to the third step. So I'm going to go ahead and bring his arm down and just kind of make him stand up, I guess. Something like that. And then I'll just hit uh, finish. Now, this allows me to edit them in time. So what I'll do is I'll make the second one very long. And I'll hit back. And I'll make the last one very short. And I'll hit back. And now I can hit play to demonstrate it, and it should work. See, that was literally the pose that we designed right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, in which uh, it allows you to make your own dances, your own uh, performances, which is really cool that this robot has that capability. Now what I'll do is I'll hit save and I can label the action as, I don't know, let's just call it uh, YouTube. Okay. And then I'll hit uh, this button right here so I can take a picture of the action for my future references. And then I'll hit use photo and I'll hit confirm. Now this gives me the capability to upload it to Action Square. Action Square is a location where everybody shares their own movements where you can download theirs and upload yours, etc. Which is pretty cool. But I'm not going to do that for now. Now what I can do is I'll go back here. And I'll click on me and I can hit create actions and I can replay previous actions. Like for instance, the dab is dead one that I, I did previously, I'll hit play. And that is the action that I used, that I made with that program. And there's an actual like, picture of it. Um, and here's the other dab one that I did. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I can always play the, re the YouTube one again. Now another thing that's cool about this is if I go back to the home button here uh, with the action demo gamepad. Gamepad is pretty unique because it allows me to use my actions in it. So I'll click on that and I'm actually click add a new character and I'm going to call this character, let's just call it dab just for fun. All right and then I can pick my own image, I can describe it, etc. So I'll hit next and then I can click use uh, actions from my creations as well as my downloads. My downloads are the ones that are from the uh, action square. So I'm going to use the, my dab ones. I'm going to select all my dab ones 
as well as my YouTube one. And I'm going to hit finished. Now it created a button that says dab and this is under game pass. So I'll click that and look it creates your own uh, game pass. So you have able to control his air, uh, arrows and move them left and right and then you have his abilities to perform his actions. So that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this one here, the YouTube one. And now he's performing it. All I do is just press the button. So that's really cool. I mean, it, it's really, uh, it's got a lot of capabilities and a lot of different features that we can do. Um, now I'm just going to show you some of the ones that I downloaded. So I went to Action Square, which is the first button here. And you can download like dance. You know, I downloaded one from here. Uh, and I wanted to, if I go into my downloaded actions, I can play it. So for instance, let me just give him some room. I'll actually slide him just a little bit back here. All right. And then I'll just hit play. And now he's gonna bow down. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But yeah, so like that that's one of the ones that I downloaded. There's so many on there, which is pretty cool. So it lets you download different things. They have yoga, they can teach you how to there's like storytelling for children. So it's pretty cool. Um obviously this is not a children's toy, uh just because there's a lot of different servos, a lot of different electronic equipment, uh wires that are hanging out like this wire right here. Um but if you take care of it, it'll it'll be fine um, and another thing I want to show you guys is how it looks in the dark so I'm going to go ahead and just try dimming the lights just a little bit it's really cool really fascinating look um, so especially like when he dances and stuff it looks really cool uh, actually let me put this upwards so the light is shining upwards there we go and then let me go and click onto the downloaded actions here, and I'll play one of these uh, like electric zones, what it's called. Now imagine in pitch black, like it's really really cool. Like he's just. It's really cool how he does all his moves. Obviously this is like a very, it's more of an entertainment robot um, compared to something like Cosmo which is more interactive and uh, plays games with you. Uh, this guy here is more just for the show and like showing off to your friends or family and just to it's something that you know a robot that you can own at your home you know so it's really cool and you know there's a lot of capabilities with it but um yeah um there is other features as well where you can hook it up to the computer and put music in like through him and he'll because he has a speaker too so i'm going to go ahead and learn how to do that and i'll just go ahead and demonstrate it to you right now i'm just kind of showing you the uh, basics of the app itself but yeah i guess i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time Bye bye